Hey everybody, Brock here, E6 Swine and Cattle. Wanted to talk to you today about why I started bedding these uh, hogs I have to keep up here in the barn with hay and stopped using straw. I just take uh, the outside layers of round bales we feed the cows. If they're normally, you know, they were a little more weathered, cows might be a little more finicky on that part. So I just, the, the hogs like to eat hay too. I don't know. Most people that have hogs understand that hogs will eat pretty much anything. They're omnivores and they will eat anything. There's a reason they have a legend with the mafia. But anyway, I started putting hay in here instead of straw for, for a few reasons. Straw's just another trip, another expense, taking your time up. So, and, st and straw's expensive. It's four or five bucks a bale every time I, I see it. And so I just thought, well, that's stupid. So I just take a little bit of each round bale and, and uh, I put it in here with the hogs. They go through it, eat it, and what they don't eat, they sleep in. And so then uh, when you, this pen's ready to be cleaned out, why, when you go to spread it on the pasture, if there's any seeds from anything in the hay, Timothy or whatever, you know, it's going to get spread out there on the pasture. So you're, you're fertilizing and seeding kind of the same time, and uh, you're adding or building organic matter, saving a trip, saving... And you know the hogs' hooves are so sharp, they break it down real good. And when they, if, you, if I stay, if I didn't keep rebedding this and I just left them, let it go for a while, their hooves would just pound it down into a, just a fine, almost a powder. It's perfect compost. And the good thing about pigs is they only poop in one spot in each pen. So they don't, you know, they don't. So you only got one, one good spot of manure, and the rest is just the hay breaking down and composting. So, it's a. Uh, I think it's just a win-win. So, yeah, these, there's two. I have, uh, I don't know how, you can't see them. I mean, I'll see if I can walk them. These are two replacement boards. They're not big enough to go out yet. So I'll have them breed in, uh, breed this, this coming fall. They're half brothers. One's a couple of months younger than the other one. But uh, they're each, they each have a quarter of a mangalitsa in them, a swallow belly. And, uh, but they got a lot of grow in them. That red one's got some length to him. Uh, and I got four replacement gilts over here. Three of them are full sisters to the red boar. And uh, the other one is more of our lard type pig, which is, she is actually red wattle uh, mangalitsa. So she's a straight up lard, old heritage breed. And then when we cross her on these ones where I've got the Duroc and large black York the hillbilly special, as I call them, it really seems to work out well. So, but I, I just wanted to say you can bed with hay just as well as straw, save a little money, put it on your pasture, win-win. So, be good to each other. Take care.